Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of that upcoming severe weather that's going to be going on this weekend and through next week. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. And I also highly recommend that you check out our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below, and then also our very awesome channel membership that you can check out next to that subscribe button. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think we will have any slight risk days with this severe weather event? And if so, how many do you think we will have? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now, first things first, we're taking a look at our day one categorical outlook. So this is going to actually be for today from the time I'm making this video, February 25th on Thursday. Uh, and this is going to last through tomorrow morning. That's always how they go. And you can see we have a marginal risk there from uh, Dallas and Fort Worth and take that eastward all the way through into northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and then portions of Mississippi as well. As far as those individual threats, we have wind outlook here. This is showing 5% for any given location uh, within a 25-mile radius there for Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Then we have some of that hail risk going on for the, kind of the entire marginal risk there. As far as tornadoes, we have less than 2% chance within any of these regions, so there's not really a large tornado risk at all. Uh, for Cape, you can see it's actually a low Cape event. This is like the maximum throughout the day today, and there's pretty much nothing. Uh, so that's kind of raising some question marks in my mind for our day one outlook. We're going to break down today a little bit more in just a moment, and then we're going to start moving towards some bigger threats in just a moment. So here we are taking a look at those dew points, and you really want this to be pretty high for severe weather to develop. Uh, and 50s can be good enough, but we're in the lower 50s, upper 40s here. So again, just I'm not digging today. I don't think there's going to be a lot of severe weather whatsoever. Uh, even once we look at the temperatures here, I mean, 50s, maybe some 60s. I think if anything, this will be mostly a wind-driven event because that can occur in colder temperatures. But as far as hail and tornadoes, I absolutely I do not feel confident that we will have any of that going on. But as always, stay tuned to, you know, the Storm Prediction Center and your local warnings, watches, and advisories because things can change in a hurry uh, and things can surprise for sure. But the, the confidence and the, the percent chance of that happening at this point is quite low. Uh, here is our radar at about, this is going to be probably about 2 p.m. here on Thursday, February 25th. And as you can see, there's not a lot going on yet. But as we reach more towards 4, 5, 6 p.m. tonight, you can see there is going to be some heavier precipitation developing there for eastern Texas, southern Oklahoma, southern Arkansas there. Uh, and then eventually this actually becomes heavier overnight tonight. So that again, maybe a wind-driven event is going to be even colder tonight. But you can still get those uh, wind events in these kind of colder temperatures. Now here is our categorical outlook for day two, which is going to be tomorrow, Friday. Uh, and as you can see, we also have a marginal risk there for eastern Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama there, and then portions of Tennessee as well. So we're going to move forward and we're going to take a look at the individual risks there and then some of the uh, factors that, you know, come in and what's causing that to happen. And then we're going to move towards a lot bigger events in just a moment. All right, now here's that wind threat, and as you can see, we have a 5% chance within all of these regions, Arkansas, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, and Tennessee, so our entire marginal risk. The funny thing is I actually just switched frames. You probably didn't even notice, but this is the hail outlook, so it hardly changed at all. It's 5% for both of those within 25 miles of a given location. All right, and then for tornado... You can see that, again, we have less than 2%, so that's very good news. Those two days there, we have very low tornado risk. The interesting thing is that for both Thursday, today, and Friday, we have a lot of shear and not a lot of cape. So typically, that leads me to believe a wind and tornado threat is going to be the biggest threat. Uh, but still, they're not calling for much of a tornado risk at all. So mostly just a wind event. We could see some hail, but I'm really, really feeling like we're going to have mostly a wind event here. If there will be hail during this event, I think it would be mostly towards the middle of the night, Friday into Saturday, as we're going to have dew points in the upper 50s, lower 60s there for portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee, where we have that marginal risk. And as you can see on the actual temperatures, again, it's going to be in the 60s overnight. So that's about the most favorable frame here over these next two days. As we look at that simulated radar, you can see that this is around 2 p.m. on Friday. There will be those thunderstorms around. 
Let's move this towards Saturday, and we're going to start to see more Cape enter into the areas of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi. We're not looking at too much of an actual threat on Saturday, though. There could be a marginal risk, but I'm thinking mostly just a general thunderstorm risk as we still have right now for Saturday. Let's take a look at those temperatures, though, and things start to become a lot more favorable. 70s, upper 60s around. This is going to be good enough for severe weather, and we're moving in a direction towards more severe weather. So what we're going to do in a moment is take a look at Sunday, where I'm eyeballing the largest chance of severe weather over the course of the next few days where we're going to have multiple days with some severe weather but I think Sunday is the day I'm looking at the most for the biggest chance of severe weather so we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Now here we are taking a look at that cape and again I've always mentioned that you're looking for those 1000 plus amounts uh, to be really good for severe weather once you get into that 1000 2000 range you're good enough uh, for some significant severe weather as well. Uh, but, you know, we sometimes see events in the in the heart of the severe weather season with 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 plus. And obviously that's a lot better for severe weather than 1,000 amounts. But 1,000 is going to be generally good enough. Uh, and that's mostly indicated by those greens and yellows. The yellows is 1,500 plus. So we do have some of that going on as well for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas here by around 12 p.m. there on Sunday. The temperatures here, as, or sorry, this is the dew points actually, you can see are in the 60s, and that's generally the threshold you're looking for for severe weather as well, 60 degree dew points plus, and as you can see, we have that in the area, all right, and then for actual temperatures, look at that, 70s, 60s and 70s here for Texas and Oklahoma, even down through Arkansas and a lot of the Gulf states as well, and then that shear, this is another thing I'm watching for, we have very high shear as well on Sunday, so... I'm looking towards Sunday and I'm thinking this is looking a lot like a slight risk or more in my opinion could be more. Uh, it could also just be a marginal risk if things don't play out this favorable for severe weather. But out of all of the days, I'm thinking this one definitely has the best chance to be a slight risk or enhanced or hopefully not even worse than that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Monday too because this is just going to continue right on into next week. Look at that cape for March 1st. We have 700 to 1,000 to 1,500 amounts here around for Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia, even extending up and through the Carolinas as well. So this is going to be a multi-day event by the time we're reaching the high temperatures on Tuesday. So this is approximately the afternoon hours. We see again, just for those Gulf states and even up through Tennessee and Kentucky, we see uh, those 500 to even 1,000s being picked up in those greens to even yellows there from for Alabama and Georgia. So again, just another day with that sufficient cape for severe weather. And then Thursday here, Wednesday had some as well, but Thursday we see the 1,000 to 1,500 amounts again. So I think it's going to be a busy weekend and then also a busy week as well as we're just going to have this continued severe weather just going on for uh, multiple days here. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to close out the video with some simulated radar in just a moment. Just take a look at each of these days, what the radar could look like, and then we're going to go ahead and close out the video. All right, so here we are taking a look at Sunday. As you can see, there is going to be some storms around where all of those factors are going to be taking place for Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and surrounding states as well, getting some of that precipitation. I think Sunday is going to be a busy busy day. Now, as we move towards Monday, you can also see that we still have some of those heavier showers and thunderstorms that are around for the Gulf states. And Monday looks pretty bad too, because look at that. Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, all getting some of that precipitation. Again, just another day where that cape is going to be very high for the entire Gulf uh, states there. So really, I'm worried about Monday too on March 1st, and then by the time we're reaching Tuesday, March 2nd, you can see again just those thunderstorms around for the southeast, and that was another one of those days where we saw the sufficient temperatures, the sufficient cape, just another active day there. As we move towards Wednesday, you can see there's going to be some of those showers around. This is the day that I didn't really show for the cape. It looks like the quietest out of the, the you know extended days that are put together with some of that cape and stuff. This one might be a little bit of a quieter day, uh, but then by the time we reach Thursday, this might be one of the worst too. I would say this is probably the second worst looking day um, compared to Sunday. So Sunday looks a little bit worse at this point. This one's a little bit further out, but on March 5th, or sorry, March 4th there, Thursday, it looks like we could have some pretty organized thunderstorms there for the southeast which, with that sufficient cape, the good temperatures, the good dew points. 
I think if I had to had to guess at this point, today and Friday are obviously already a marginal risk. Saturday, I don't think we'll get upgraded to a marginal risk. I think we're going to stay a general thunderstorm risk for uh, for Saturday there. And then by the time we reach Sunday, I think a slight risk is likely, at least a slight risk. And then Monday, Tuesday, both of those will be at least a marginal risk, possibly or even likely a slight risk as well. Um Again, Wednesday's a little bit more of a question mark. But then Thursday, I'm looking at, again, another good day for a marginal or slight risk, again, at least. So we're going to have multiple days coming up of some severe weather activity. I'm going to keep you guys updated with that as we get a little bit closer. Uh, thankfully, after this time period is over, it looks like the cold air will move back into the eastern United States, kind of prohibiting a lot of that severe weather activity. That's at least how it looks right now. So that would put an end to that activity that we're going to have kind of ongoing for the next few days. Anyways, for our confidence tab, I'm at about a 5 out of 6. Obviously, I talked a little bit about some things that are a little bit lo longer range here. Obviously, my prediction on what categorical outlook we will have each day isn't going to be very accurate necessarily because that's not even a forecast. That's something the Storm Prediction Center does, not what I do, and that's their choice at, at the end of the day. Uh, but I'm at about a 5 out of 6 that we will be having severe weather like I've been calling for in this video. For today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, well... How high do you think that severe weather risk is going to get with these upcoming severe weather events? And James Marr said, I think there will likely be a slight risk for severe weather. Uh, and I think that it is likely also, uh, like James Marr said, that we will at least have one day of slight risk. I think that's very likely at this point. Anyway, for our patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, Sebastian Tao, John Ben Benedict, James Wade, Dovi Nagel, Alan Palomo, Adam S., Larry LePan, Donna Carnes, Cameron Marshall, and Aiden Mattis. Alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Alan Sherry, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Michael Buell, Cap Bite, Charles Stinnett, Kellen Manhart, It's Jay, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Vallego, Garys, and John Gwilisi. If you would like to be a part of this patron entry of the day, you can do so by joining our very exciting Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I will see you guys in the next video.